spice jet today has been ordered to operate only 50 percent of its flights for the next eight weeks by the aviation regulator the dgca it's an unprecedented crackdown after an unusually high number of safety incidents involving the airline the dgca says that in view of finding of various spot checks inspections and the reply to the show cause notice submitted by SpiceJet, the number of departures of the airline have been restricted to 50% of the number of departures approved for a period of eight weeks. During these eight weeks, the DGCS says that SpiceJet will be subject to enhanced surveillance. This could be uh, perhaps the most stringent action that any airline has faced in recent times. And SpiceJet has also issued a statement saying that there will be no impact on their flight operations and that they reassure their passengers that flights will be as per schedule. They already, in fact, curtailed their flight operations because of the lean season and uh, there would be no flight cancellations, therefore, uh, as a result of the DGC order and that they would continue to work under the close guidance of the regulator. Well, Captain Amit Singh, the founder of Safety Matters, uh, aviation safety uh, expert joining us now, and Parvez Damania, the former executive director of Kingfisher Airlines, both with us uh, this evening. Uh, just let me ask both of you, you know, your reactions to this, Captain Amit Singh. How unusual is it for the DGCA to crack down this way on an airline? They're trying to send a message across uh, to the other operators about uh, the seriousness of the issue. Uh, there have been incidents which have been happening for the past uh, couple of months, but uh, we have uh, sort of uh, listened to both sides, the regulator as well as the operator. Uh, on NDTV, the CMD of SpiceJet had come and said that we have been operating uh, safely for the past 15, 17 years, and there are no safety issues. But uh, this interim order is an indictment that there is an issue which needs to be addressed and it is imperative uh, which means that the safety management system of the airline or the internal oversight system has failed uh, which is quite a serious issue uh, which the general public would not be aware of only the safety experts in dgca or uh, other places are aware so such things like maintenance issues which have been there and acknowledged by the regulator the dgca and also stated by the minister in the parliament 70 to 80 percent of the incidents occur due to maintenance issues and that spice jet was on a cash and carry so uh, there are issues which have been acknowledged so not that everything is hunky dory and everything is safe but there are small incidents which could lead to an accident or a serious incident so this is an acknowledgement that everything is not okay and uh, the regulator and the operator both are working towards uh, ensuring that safety is provided or safe operations are provided Mr. Uh, Damania, to the passengers. The Mr. Damania, your, your thoughts on this? I mean, how worried are you, uh, you know, about the fact that potentially we could be flying planes uh, that are not uh, entirely up to the mark? See, what is surprising me, DGCA conducted 53 spot checks on 48 of SpiceJet aircrafts. And they didn't find anything wrong. They passed in every test. And uh, no owners were cut, no serious issues were found. So then I don't understand why they've asked the fleet size to be reduced to 50%, the number of flights reduced to 50%. Now, SpiceJet is saying that this won't affect the schedule, but I don't believe that it will affect, won't affect the schedule. It will definitely affect the schedule will definitely affect the financials and it will be huge and inconvenience to the people who book their flights on spice. I think it would have been better if the DGC would have allowed the airline to self-regulate and would check through the standards and not interfere at its level. Reducing 50% of the flight means I don't know how the economics will affect spice, it will affect drastically whatever they say. So I wish such a drastic step wouldn't have been taken. They would have been given some time. And then uh, and when they conducted the checks, when they conducted checks on 48 of the aircraft, which is a not small size of fleet, and they didn't find anything wrong, then I don't understand why they took this such a drastic step by curtailing the fleet to 50%. Right. Uh, uh, interesting you say that. Uh, Captain Amit Singh, though, you know, there was a report today, the Indian Express highlighted that on page one, uh, about not just SpiceJet, but uh, airlines across the board 
facing problems uh, because of COVID and the lockdowns that uh, 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 that the DGCA chief actually told them uh, was curtailing airlines or, uh, you know, could be because the, that increasing technical malfunctions could be because of these lockdowns, etc., that they weren't uh, having the kind of safety checks uh, that, uh, you know, they necessarily should have been. So there's a universal problem of manpower shortage is uh, uh, something he's also said, which is not just restricted to one airline. Uh, that's that sounds a bit worrying that you know that would be something uh, that affects all our airlines currently we have seen it uh, in other airlines as well and it is not covid or the financial issues they may have uh, compounded to it but in 2019 when there was no covid and financial issues still there were a spate of incidents especially with spice jet and a special audit was ordered wherein uh, the revelations was the same uh, conclusions that the safety oversight of the airline was not adequate and the safety head was removed. Other airlines uh, uh, were also brought under the scanner and uh, issues like uh, snags were not reported. So it is a systemic error. Uh, the safety culture prevailing. All like right. A, uh... a Calicut accident. The report said, uh, the Calicut accident report clearly said that uh, there was a practice uh, a practice of not reporting snags or defects. And it was uh, highlighted in the audits, internal audits of other airlines as well. So it is a systemic issue which has not been addressed since 2019 and has repeated in 22. So uh, pointing towards one airline is, uh, will not help. It is basically sending a message across to all the airlines that uh, uh, something needs to be done about the safety management system, which under which uh, the whole uh, safety threat and error, the risks are managed. So that is the bigger issue. How are we handling the safety management system prevailing in the country? Absolutely. It shouldn't become just about one airline. As you rightly said, uh, this is a much bigger safety issue across the industry. Thank you both uh, for joining us on that important story.